Hello friends, James Stevenson back with part, uh, man, what are we up to, nine now? Uh, yeah, part nine of the uh, 2022 Q3 forecast review video series. So Loki has decided to start joining me for these now, so we'll see how long that lasts. He does have his bed over there if he decides to go lay in bed, but for now I will share my desktop. Not that. Uh, that's who's hating hard on Tesla today. That's a different thing. So this was the last tweet that we looked at, uh, which was slide 14 of my uh, most recent Tesla forecast. So I'll just advance this one more and show you a line chart of Tesla's next 12 months non-gap EPS unadjusted post 3 for 1 stock split. I had to note it that way because the three for one stock split had not happened yet at the time that I put out this forecast thread. And below that, I've noted that the small circles denote actuals and the large circles are my forecast. So there's only two quarters on this page being forecast. All the rest are actuals. So I'm confusing people on this one with my next 12 months basis. What does next 12 months mean? It means after that quarter ends, over the following four quarters, what is the total earnings per share? Uh, and again, these are after the three for one stock split. So after Tesla increases the share count to like 3.3 billion ish shares, somewhere in that range from 1.1 ish. So uh, what you can see is the climb that has happened already from oof, uh, $1.31 a year ago up to $3.30 as of the most recent uh, quarter's actuals. So uh, when you see that Q2 2021 number of $3.30, what that's giving you is the sum of Q3 and Q4 2021 and Q1 and Q2 of 2022. That's why it's the next 12 months earnings. Why would anybody uh, do it that way? Not just to confuse you, dear viewer, but also because the market ought to be forward looking. When you make an investment, you shouldn't care about what has happened in the past. The past is prologue. The past is ancient history. What you care about with your investment is how will the future be different? What's going to change in the future with this company? How will their earnings be different? Will they grow? Will they uh, stagnate? Will they fall? Uh, those are the important questions, not what has happened in the past. So what I'm showing with my forecast for Q3 and Q4 is that Tesla's earnings are about to rapidly accelerate, right? Um, so that's uh, that chart. Then the next chart is the same information except on a logarithmic scale for the y-axis, which I noted over here. So you've got a quarter, you've got 50 cents, you've got a dollar, two dollars, and four dollars. If you're not used to looking at a logarithmic scale, you may say, James, you've somehow done this very wrong. That's not how scales work. Well, it is how a logarithmic scale works. So the y-axis itself is exponential. What's that mean? It means that a straight line across the exponential uh, scale is showing you exponential growth, right? So Tesla's EPS is growing at a steady compounding rate as time goes by, with the little exception here of the most recent reported actuals, which included a Q2 in which uh, the Shanghai factory, Tesla's most profitable factory, was closed for a few weeks due to Shanghai lockdowns and then running at limited capacity for several more weeks uh, after that. So expect stronger earnings in the future. And maybe I have time to get to one more uh, video here, well, or one more slide in this video, which is Stevenson Indicator. Um, this is the most recent snapshot that I had pre-split. So if you want to go back and reminisce, uh, as the blue light washes over my, my complexion from my massive 70-inch uh, 4K ultra-high-def display in front of me, 
from the background of this chart, uh, here's what it used to look like when uh, I was showing the post-2019 low trading price uh, on March 18th of 2020 as $72.24. In reality, it was $361.20 um, before the five for one stock split that happened in August of 2020. So right at the end of August, right here, Tesla stock split five for one. And then way over here, so far over that it's off the chart, Tesla stock split again, three for one. So when you go check out the live version of Stevenson Indicator, you'll see that this number is knocked all the way down to $24.08 after adjusting for the three for one stock split that just happened. Uh, I made a whole video about that, which you can go check out. I will try to remember to leave a link in the video description, but if not, it shouldn't be very hard to find on my YouTube page. And with that, I will go ahead and close out of this video saying, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button, which is free uh, to do. And I will see you in the next one.